Hello and welcome to this lesson on measurement. This lesson will deal specifically with the measurement of volume. When we speak of volume, we are referring to the three-dimensional space that an object occupies. Something that is three-dimensional or 3D has a measurement of length, breadth and height. This means it fills a space and is not just a line or flat like a drawing or a picture. Volume is measured in liters as well as cubic centimeters and cubic meters. Here is a small cubic block with each side measuring one centimeter. This block has a volume of one cubic centimeter which is the same as one milliliter. When we speak of volume in terms of cubic centimeters, we will be referring to the number of these blocks that can fit into the shape that we are dealing with. As an example, let's take a box that is 10 centimeters long, 6 centimeters wide, and 4 centimeters high. Now we would take our little 1 centimeter cubic blocks and begin packing them into the box. The question is, how many of these blocks will we need? Since the box is 10 centimeters long, we would pack 10 blocks along the length of the box. Because the box is 6 centimeters wide, we can fit 6 rows of 10 blocks on the bottom of the box. That would make 60 blocks in all to cover the bottom of the box. Since the box is 4 centimeters high, it means that we can fit 4 layers of 60 blocks in the box. This will make 4 multiplied by 60 blocks, which equals 240 blocks. Let's look at the maths. We took 10 blocks for the length and multiplied it by 6 blocks for the width and then multiplied it by 4 blocks for the height to give 240 blocks in all. We say that the volume of our box is 240 cubic centimeters. This lets us make a formula for the volume of any box-shaped object. The formula uses the length, breadth and height of the object. The volume of the object is length times breadth times height. Let's do an example to calculate the volume of a box that is 20 centimeters in length, 10 centimeters in width and 8 centimeters in height. Start with the formula V equals L times B times H. Now fill in the numbers 20 for the length, 10 for the breadth, and 8 for the height. 20 times 10 times 8 is equal to 1,600 cubic centimeters. Remember that we can always use a calculator for more difficult calculations. Not all objects are square or rectangular, but that doesn't mean that we cannot work out their volume. A trick to calculating volume is to see that volume is simply the calculation of an area of the base of the shape multiplied to its height. This means that if you are calculating the volume of an object like this, you would first work out the area of the triangle and then multiply it by the height. Let's apply this method to a cylinder. The height of this can is 12 centimeters and the radius of the base is 3 centimeters. Let's calculate the volume of the cylinder. The area of a circle is pi r squared. This means that the formula for the volume of a cylinder is pi r squared times height. Remember that for pi we use the value 3,14. This means that volume is 3,14 times 3 squared times 12. The volume of the cylinder is 339,4 cubic centimeters. It is not necessary that you learn these formula, but you do need to know how to use them. We may be asked to give an answer in liters instead of cubic meters. To do this, we will need to do a conversion calculation. One cubic centimeter is equivalent to one milliliter, 
one cubic meter is equivalent to 1,000 liters. For example, a cold drink can has 330 milliliters of liquid in it. One milliliter is equivalent to one cubic centimeter, therefore 330 milliliters is the same as 330 cubic centimeters. Lastly, we are going to go over how to convert cubic meters to cubic centimeters. There are 100 centimeters in a meter. One meter squared is equal to one meter times one meter. Therefore, one meter squared is equal to 100 centimeters times 100 centimeters. This means that one meter cubed is equal to 100 centimeters times 100 centimeters times 100 centimeters. This equals one million cubic centimeters. Using this knowledge, let's convert 2 cubic meters to cubic centimeters. 2 times 1 million equals 2 million cubic centimeters. Thank you for joining us, Grade 11s. Remember to look at the tasks for this section in the Using Measurement Tasks video. You'll also be able to learn more about measurement on our website, www.mindset.co.za forward slash learn. Goodbye.